what would happen if we got a lot of filmmakers and performers together from across the globe, large and small, from every walks of life, through their talents, through their filmmaking, could really attest to the struggles and triumphs as it related to inequality and the amelioration thereof. And so that's how the eight movement came together. And what I envision for the film festival is that it is not just a festival where filmmakers can really show their talents and talk about inequality, but that it is also a place where all of those who have suffered from the plight of inequality once a year for several days to call home. We are the Eighth Equality International Film and Music Festival. We are a dynamic and diverse cast and crew of Bay Area filmmakers. You guys might have already heard about us from our previous works. We did some feature films called Dragon Metal and The Law. And now we're bringing to you Eight the Movie, a film currently in production that features couples affected by discriminatory legislation such as Proposition 8, DOMA, Don't Ask, Don't Tell. But aside from that, we want to bring to you the largest film and music festival on the West Coast to feature and highlight social and economic inequality. By showcasing upcoming artists, filmmakers, and musicians in the Bay Area, we are providing a platform for their stories to be heard and opportunities for their entertaining careers. But we want to open doors within this industry of entertainment, which for so long has discriminated against many, many people based on their socioeconomic status, their gender bias, their sexuality. And what this film festival does is it makes the statement to them is not only to break the barriers, but to provide those who oftentimes postulate hatred with the much needed education that's necessary. A lot of people just don't know. Hate groups will not exist unless love groups give them permission. Is the world ready for queer talent to be center screen? Are they ready for women filmmakers and writers? Are they ready for people from disadvantaged and disenfranchised communities to speak out against the injustices that they face on a daily basis? Your contribution will not only help support upcoming filmmakers and musicians from disenfranchised and discriminated against communities, but it also helps our nonprofits who fight social and economic injustices on the daily. We form partnerships with local nonprofit groups such as GASA, the Girls After School Academy, Queer Life Space in San Francisco, and the Seven Trees Music Studio on the south side of San Jose. If we reach this goal of $20,000, you'll make it possible for us to put on this festival. We could expand our venue for the film and music festival provide scholarships and fee waivers for filmmakers across the globe. On a grassroots level, we could take the remainder of funds and ensure that our nonprofit partners will be able to receive the equipment critical to sustain their media services, stronger websites, more media equipment, more services to their nonprofit constituents. You're not only supporting local artists, but you're supporting these local nonprofits that serve their communities. So please take a moment and donate. And please, please, please look into your hearts and the vision for equality for all of our future generations to donate and support. It's more than just a movie. It's more than just a festival. It's a movement. And we thank you for your contributions in advance. Make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and visit our website at 8themovement.com. Un gran beso. Who are you doing this for? This is for them, for you, for us.